Olympics or so on. There's just so many great human stories that the Olympics reveals that are just not made easily accessible. That's the Olympics charter is you want to, I think uh, the actual line is to ensure the fullest coverage and the widest possible audience in the world for the Olympic games. People don't just want to see a, a two minute highlight of a historic moment. They want to see the buildup. It, it's just like the magic of that full story, like a lifetime building up to those 10 minutes, mm -hmm. right? That That's the magic of the Olympics. Well, you're losing history. Yeah. You're losing history is what you are of, of, of all the mo magical moments of your sport. But he said to me, you know, you can't use that Olympic footage. And you know, I was young and I had just retired. I said, what do you mean I can't use the Olympic footage? It's not It's not the television footage. It's my buddy who filmed it with yeah. his own camera. It's yeah. my footage. Yeah, exactly. You know, and they said, no, if it has Olympics in it or it's anything to do with the Olympics, the USOC owns it. Yeah. I said, okay, well, I got a thing back that said, if you want to use this footage, it's going to be like $30,000. Hi, this is Shady. This summer, the Olympics are going to be hosted here very close to me. All the prices are gonna go up, commuting will be a mess, and the city itself will be just a big mess, and I hope it's gonna be very smooth. However, they do say that it's good for the economy, but I don't know. So, I really want to talk about the Olympics. I've talked about them so many times, and I'm under the belief that judo itself should not be in the Olympics for several reasons. Even the founder had a lot of concerns and I do agree with him regarding politics, uh, money, corruption, nationalism, etc. And all of it uh, came true. And also judo becomes more of a sport rather than a tool to aid society. And he was very correct. So today I wanna to talk about another aspect that is not only terrible for judo, but all Olympic athletes. As you just saw from the Lex Friedman podcast, you have barely any access to Olympic footage. If you miss the live streaming uh, that is done on the same day, like for example, if you miss a day in the summer, you're probably not gonna see it ever again in your entire life. So it's, very strange that they don't give access to what is historical footage uh, and personally I find it disrespectful to the athletes themselves any Olympic discipline or sport you ask them what's your dream goal go to the Olympics or be Olympic champion but yet we only have like very few highlights very few seconds here and there and that's it they're gone for good now we talk about Ono and we talk about uh, Abe or whoever, but 20, 30 years later, it's going to be very difficult, especially with the saturation of all this footage and all these highlight videos and all these new players. They're going to become forgotten and it's very unfortunate. And a lot of people have, I'm, I'm sure they've met a champion from the 80s, a champion from the 70s, and they don't know who they are, and it's solely because of this. Now, let's take a look at this very fine specimen of human being in the Olympics, and uh, I'm sure you probably understand why I'm showing this. So, the reason why I'm showing this is that if you think the Olympics is a clean organization and there's no corruption or it's just all about being stand up and upright. I have a flying car to sell you. So again, uh, I ask everyone, why should judo be in the Olympics? The fact that you can never see it again or barely see it ever again is truly mind boggling. And as Lex said, they're not only very greedy, but they're bad at being greedy. So. All of this comes down to money and of course we all have bills to pay we all want to make money we all we all want to live a comfortable life and provide a comfortable life to our family but this is truly insane the fact that you have to pay this much for olympic footage that they have and obviously the prices are impossible 
to meet it's I don't, again I don't know what to say that and here's my issue with all of this judo is really morphing itself just to please the olympics just so they can go to into the next olympic games just so they can meet olympic standards etc and yet they trickle the footage after it's over and if you get uh, any and i find it very disrespectful to the champions because not only you are erasing history or you are burying it but also that's their life's work and now it's going to become a two-minute highlight thanks to you so again why should we humor this idea in the first place i i genuinely do not understand from a judo standpoint the the rules are going in a in a direction that nobody likes even all the people i've hosted been to the olympics uh, fought in the world championship etc not one says you know what now it's a lot better not even one and yet this is what we get in return imagine dating someone that you see only four years they don't send you pictures they don't send you videos uh and every time you get to meet them in four years all the dates should be only on big boats uh, rooftop uh, evenings and uh, helicopter rides and private jets and you get maybe a kiss on the cheek it's literally the same so this idea that you have to fight all your life for it and nobody gets to see it after it's finished is insane. So I have two propositions. First one, keep things as they are, but make like a little Olympic subscription. Uh, you see WWE, they made their channel. You can pay like a streaming service and you can watch fights, fights from 20 years ago 30 years ago you choose a wrestler and you go and watch and you can really enjoy it and it's all fun and and not some crazy price uh, like maximum a hundred dollars a year but you're not going to be losing any money because you're going to be banking on footage that is decades old 40 50 years old and you're going to be making money from it uh, all over again i'm a judo black belt from the kodokan and my scroll is signed by the Kodokan president Uemura, who he himself is an Olympic champion from the 70s. I cannot go watch him. I cannot go and watch his fights. A little highlight here and there, but there's really nothing, and it's disrespectful to him. I I want to every time you go and watch some old fight from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, you're paying homage to those athletes that truly dedicated their lives and you're only respecting them by doing this and the fact that we do not access it we the people that actually make this whole thing possible is a big slap in the face in my opinion and we should not tolerate it so again i don't find any good reason for judo to be in the olympics and we can find better build up better fights in paris or world championship and it, this whole thing is really ridiculous the, the greed and the the blocking of people from you know, accessing things they love while they themselves uh, are the sole reason why it exists in the first place. It's insane. So if you have anything to add, let me know. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.